Tonight, North Providence's mayor is considering a plan that may raise some eyebrows. Mayor Charles Lombardi is proposing to replace a large portion of the existing Department of Public Works with a private company. And the move, he says, could influence other communities to follow his lead. The mayor's plan to revamp the department would lead to layoffs, but the union says management is to blame for the problems. It's our top local story. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lands joins us in the newsroom with the details. Mayor Charles Lombardi says his plans to shrink the Department of Public Works will save taxpayers money, but he also admits that it will cost one third of the staff their jobs. The response time of the Department of Public Works in North Providence during and after the blizzard of 2013 was heavily criticized by residents. We think we could provide better services in a more timely uh, uh, manner. But it's not just snowstorms. Mayor Charles Lombardi says the current staff slacks regularly, many working as little as five hours a day. From when they come in in the morning and then they uh, take a coffee break at nine, they have a lunch break, they have another coffee break at two, and they back to the garage by three to get ready to punch out by 3.30. After a year of closed door discussions, Mayor Lombardi wants to move forward with a plan to shrink the department, outsourcing jobs through a private company, and forcing seven layoffs of the existing 21 employees. The right. 14 individuals could uh, manage that department. But the layoffs may not be that easy. Eyewitness News reached out to union leader Kenneth D. Lorenzo of Rhode Island Council 94. He released a statement saying public works employees of the town of North Providence are doing more with less. These same employees are substantially underpaid compared to neighboring communities. Proper management of the public works department will increase productivity. But the mayor says his plan will save taxpayers nearly 500 grand, a quarter of the current cost of the $2.1 million currently spent to fund the department. We don't think at this point in time we're getting the best bang for our buck. Mayor Lombardi says it's unclear if city council members will have the final say, but he plans to meet with all of them soon. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lance, Eyewitness News.